All right, so we've had crappy luck all day, but once we tried, yeah, just, just, just go ahead. One nice swoop. Her rod is real light. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. oh, oh, I got it. I hope you. Oh. Nice one. Yeah. Real good one. Grass bass, yeah. yeah. That was just a I squirt. got lucky. <laughs> yeah, you just got, you just kind of got lucky. Well, I was watching it's a, it's a woman's a dip, yeah. a dip motion. Yeah, it's a, it's a woman's touch, you know. <laughs> yeah, little, little, uh, what is it? Grass, they call it grass rockfish. Oh, that's a rockfish? Yeah, grass rockfish right there. No, no teeth, just lip them like a bass. Hey, babe, that's a nice size, too. Yeah, that is. That's a nice, a nice size. size. Oh, gosh. I'm that's funny. Mm. Well, there you go, man. It's a, like I said, it's a girl's luck, you know. <laughs> Bring your wives and girlfriends right. out Bring here. Bring your wives and girlfriends and catch catch fish. Good job, baby. Looks good. Man, we, yeah, we're gonna keep this guy. We should have made a bet. I would have won. Oh Catches man, the first hey, no. But whenever we do that, I, I yeah, win. you catch it. Good stuff, right. babe. Looks so, great. Stick um, you wanna gut him and toss him into the bag? We got the bag right there. Yeah? Oh, wait, no, 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 put them into the, the cooler. But bleed them, though. Bleed them first? Yep, bleed them first. That's good. Good job, babe. That's, uh, that's called bass thumb right there. Yeah. They call it bass thumb. <laughs> that's a big one compared to the ones that you usually catch on the poke pole. It's probably like, it's a good like 12 inches, it's huh? It's probably the one you lost. Like 13 inches. No, whatever you want. Just cut it. You can cut it right on the on the cooler. Right there's cool. Good stuff, man. Nice. I saw you started struggling right there. He, he, he bumped it, and I was like, oh, it's probably a little fish because he didn't stay on. Uh huh. And then um, I don't know if it's the same guy or if he's a different guy. Nice. Good cut. Alrighty. Toss him right in there. Good stuff. First one. Right. Hopefully, we get some more. One me. <laughs> oh, nothing like a fish to bring back some spirit, you know? Yep. Good job, babe. Let's okay, get some I still more. Got my bait too. High five. Yeah. Change your bait. Make it stink. Yeah, you did. That, oh, there's a little calico bass. Yeah, I caught one at uh, SB. SB, yeah. But I didn't know the water's warm enough for those guys. Huh? Oh, that's a little calico bass. He's a little. Yeah, as as my hand. tiny guy. They have to be like 15 inches, not a cute. <laughs> they call it checkerboard. He's more like five. Alrighty. He might have. I don't feel I'm shaking, you know? Yeah, he took him. I think I'm sticking. Oh, man. Well, that's what happens, folks. That's it's part of fishing right there. Dang. Alright, I'm going to put you some heavier leader on. Okay. Can't really see him, but. No, I was jigging it. There you go, guys. This is why I come to the coast. Is you can actually catch fish here. So, good stuff. Oh. I don't know if you can really see it in the light. I don't know if there's any light left. But that's my grassy. Oh my gosh, he inhaled that sucker. He just took it down. There you go. Beautiful bass. Mm -hmm. Or grass bass, we call these. And we are gonna cook tonight fish in a foil pouch. We got our rockfish here. We got cilantro. These are cherry tomatoes, a little bit of ginger, green onion, red pepper flakes, not too much. Uh, this right here is coriander, crushed coriander seed. Uh, we like to get ours whole, toast them, and then um, crush them. Coriander is uh, actually the seeds of cilantro. has a different little smell to it. Um, sugar, fish sauce, um, that's, you can substitute it with soy sauce. It's not the same. You can do it, but it's not the same. It's a different dish with soy sauce, not fish sauce. And that's just a little bit of oil. All right, first we'll go with, we'll drop the herbs in there. This isn't rocket science. This isn't, you know, exact cooking. This is weeknight, gotta work tomorrow. Maybe have some uh, leftovers for lunch. Some in here. Get on the 
our pepper flakes. I've got it all sitting in a uh, in a plate, so the juices don't go everywhere. Got that sugar. Fish sauce. And a little bit of oil. And the most important part of this dish, the coriander seed. That's really what makes it taste unique and not, I mean, you could do it without the coriander seed, but it would just kind of taste like steamed fish. Chinese. Yeah, like Chinese style steamed fish, which isn't bad. It's just, it's a different recipe altogether, so. Rub it in. We left them um, head on. Um, uh, yeah, I mean you could you could take the head off too if that gets sear or something like that. But it doesn't really bug bug me. There's meat in the cheeks, you know, and it's kind of a presentation kind of deal. Let me add a little bit of water to this guy too. A little bit of water, just to make sure he has his juice. Yeah, a little bit of salt too. Even though we had the fish sauce in there. Fish sauce is generally pretty pretty salty, but a little bit of salt for flavor also. And I almost forgot a little bit of lemon juice. A little bit of lemon juice right here just to round out the flavors, give it a little bit of acidity. We got the tomatoes in there, but lemon always goes good with fish. It's good. That's it. Wrap her up. We are ready to throw her in the oven. You can have it on a relatively high temperature, you know, 375, 400. Not even a real oven, a toaster oven. Get it right in there. Don't be scared. Set that timer for one hour. You might be scared and say, oh, that's overcooking the fish. But it's really not. It's got so many juices. It's kind of baking its own stuff. And the magic happens when um, you get the little bit of burnt crust, crusty um, herbs in there. Oh, so good. See you after an hour. All right. So it's been almost an hour. I think it's been in there for a good amount of time. Yeah, it's been like 50 minutes. So let's get it out of there. Oop, I'm trying to break the foil on the way out. Save that precious juice. Oh no, it's starting to leak. Quickly, quickly, quickly. I got the thing. Alright. So it's starting to drip, but I'm just trying not to let it drip too much. Oh yeah. Ooh, it's hot. Ooh, it is hot. Alright, let's see what it looks like. Unraveling a virgin. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, the smell. Oh, you guys don't get the smell. The smell is just wonderful. Smelly, smelly. We've got some sticky rice to go with it, and some Vietnamese crepes. Those were cooked separately. But, oh my lord, guys. A little bit of uh, 805 Honey Blonde Ale. What's that? Oh, you want me to dig in first? Oh, let's try a little bit of this guy right here. Just a little bit off the front. The collarbone. Oh man, that looks good. No, oh, well, that works. <laughs> in some sauce. Okay. Alrighty. And I liked it when you overcooked it more. That's pretty good. But overcooked, like to where it's charring. Anyways, this is some sticky rice. In the juice. 
Dip it in the juices. The best. Part. Heaven. Oh man, that's good. That, that is good. And I bet you the meat that's in like all the juice, is probably even better. If I was to do this again, I'd probably do it over the stove top so I can get a nice little crispy burnt <laughs> layer on the bottom. Oh, 